Breaking global geological alert. Triple eruption. Yellowstone, Russia, Italy. April 25th, 2025. A day etched in the memory of our planet forever. From the ancient caldera of Yellowstone National Park to the icy volcanoes of Kamchatka, Russia, and the fiery slopes of Mount Etna in Italy, Earth has suddenly erupted into a symphony of volcanic chaos. A terrifying orchestration of steam, ash, fire, and fury, all happening in the span of less than two days. Yellowstone, be heave, geyser awakens. It was just before dawn in Wyoming, the park still asleep under a blanket of late spring snow, when the first tremors began. At first subtle, a faint tremble beneath the boots of a wildlife photographer camping near the Norris Geyser Basin. But then, just after 6.14 a.m., the Earth screamed. Without warning, Behave Geyser, an unpredictable thermal beast hidden in Yellowstone's hydrothermal maze, exploded with unprecedented violence. A monstrous column of scalding water and steam blasted more than 250 feet into the air, ripping through layers of ice and soil. The roar echoed for miles as startled bison stampeded across open plains and visitors fled the visitor boardwalks in panic. Park rangers immediately issued evacuation orders. The secondary geysers nearby began hissing, bubbling and rumbling ominously. An eerie fog of sulfur and steam cloaked the landscape, choking the sky in thick white clouds and igniting concerns that the underground caldera beneath Yellowstone, the supervolcano, might be stirring. That wasn't just a geyser eruption, said Dr. Alicia Monroe of the U.S. Geological Survey. That was a hydrothermal explosion event. The pressure buildup was off the charts. We're watching Yellowstone more closely now than ever before. Seismometers lit up across the park. Ground. Deformation maps showed uplift in key areas of the caldera, triggering fears of a possible domino effect within the park's magma system. Tourists were quickly escorted to safety as emergency vehicles lined up at the park's southern exit. The National Guard was placed on standby, Kamchatka, fire from the Arctic. As Yellowstone trembled in the west, a far more violent drama unfolded in one of the most geologically active regions on Earth, the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia's far east. At 2.52 p.m. local time, the Shivalish volcano one of the largest and most dangerous in Russia, erupted with cataclysmic force. A pyroclastic column exploded upward, reaching 40,000 feet, 12 kilometers, into the sky, visible even from space. Entire valleys vanished under an avalanche of volcanic ash and debris. The sky turned black. the nearby village of Kluchi, home to nearly 5,000 residents, was plunged into darkness as ash rained from the sky like deadly snow.
Roads were buried, power lines snapped, and rivers clogged with mud flows. Rescue operations struggled through zero visibility. Schools collapsed under ash weight. Livestock suffocated. Residents wore gas masks and wrapped their children in wet towels. We saw the sky go red and then everything shook. We ran for our lives, said a teacher who escaped the local school before the ash roof caved in. Russia's Ministry of Dakos, emergency situations issued a level 5 aviation warning, grounding flights across the Far East. Volcanologists confirmed this was Shivaluch's strongest eruption in nearly 60 years, possibly even stronger than the 1964 event that buried thousands of hectares of land. Europe's giant awakens, Mount Etna erupts in fire and thunder. As if Earth itself had split its seams, Mount Etna, Sicily's ancient volcano, unleashed its wrath just 19 hours later. Tremors began subtly around midnight. By 3 quarters am, lava fountains were shooting 300 meters high into the night sky from Etna's southeast crater. The mountain's glowing crown lit up the entire Catania region, and ash clouds billowed across the Mediterranean like a storm front. Villagers in the foothills awoke to deafening explosions. Windows shattered. Roofs vibrated. Dogs howled. Ash began to fall like black rain, coating streets, gardens, and even fishing boats along the Ionian coast. Catania's international airport shut down all operations as ash-covered runways. Flights were cancelled across southern Italy. Emergency crews were deployed to clear roads and assist in evacuations from the towns of Zafarana Etnia and Nicolosi, 